Hi, my dear friends, and welcome back to Grow. Today, we grow romaine lettuce. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to share with you a very easy technique to grow lettuce even from the lettuce that you buy from the supermarket. It's very easy, very healthy and it grows really quickly. So let's get to it. So in order to grow your lettuce from the lettuce that you bought in the supermarket you will need your romaine lettuce of course, a knife, a cutting board, one jar or topperware. I'm actually reusing a marmalade jar, two sticks, and water. So, as you can see, this lettuce was cut from the root here. It has no roots here, but that's not a problem. All you have to do is keep this part from your lettuce. So, we're gonna cut it now and I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so welcome to the kitchen. Okay, we're gonna cut the lettuce at about 5 centimeters from the end of the lettuce and then you can save the rest in the fridge. After you cut the end of your lettuce, you will have something like this. So as you can see, you have the end here, no roots there, and the lettuce. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is use the two sticks to put in the lettuce. So I'm gonna put one here, maybe another one right here, another one here and another one here. So we have four toothpicks just like this and I'm gonna set it aside. Now we're gonna use our jar. So fill up the jar with water. All the way up. And now we're gonna put the lettuce inside the jar and make sure that it's actually touching the water. I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more all the way to the top so I make sure that the water is actually touching the lettuce. Mm -hmm. Now, your lettuce will need some sunlight to grow, so make sure that you put the lettuce in a place with a sunny window so it gets lots of sunlight so it can grow quicker. lettuce grows really quickly. Remember to always change the water every one or two days so you keep it clear and clean. Now this lettuce has been in water for about three weeks and as you can see the leaves are big and green. I think when your lettuce gets to this size this is the best time to harvest and eat the leaves. This is because keeping in mind that this lettuce is not getting as much ingredients as she would get in the soil, the leaves are gonna start becoming more bitter. So the best time to eat this lettuce is at this point. I have read that we can actually transplant this lettuce to soil so she can get the nutrients that she needs. So I'm gonna try it today. I'm gonna try to transplant this lettuce to soil and see if she actually survives. I hope that she does. And I'm gonna show you now how I'm gonna transplant it to soil and then I'm just gonna show you the progress on my Instagram account. So let's hope it works. <laughs> okay, so let's get to transplanting. So first, in this container, I'm gonna put organic all-purpose soil. Now we're going to make a hole for the lettuce and this hole will be about 5 centimeters. We take the two sticks out like so and we're gonna put the lettuce inside. Try to compress the soil. Guys, it looks so pretty! And now I'm just gonna water a little bit so I make sure that the soil is moist. Okay, so our first transplanted lettuce is finally ready. I will make sure to share the progress with you on Instagram. Wish this beautiful lettuce luck and hopefully it survives. Of course, if you're growing lettuce with me, please make sure to share with me on Instagram. I would love to see it and we will share with the community. 
If you're watching this video live, let's keep the chat going over here. And if you're watching it afterwards, thank you for being here. And please leave a comment. I will make sure to reply. Will you be growing lettuce with me in water? What is your favorite salad recipe or dressing recipe? My favorite dressing is a very easy one, but it reminds me of my grandmother. So I'll show you what I do. This is a lime or lemon based recipe. Today I'm going to make it with lime. You will need one lime, some olive oil, veggie powder broth, and pepper. We are going to squeeze the lime. One teaspoon of olive oil. Then we will use our veggie broth, some pepper, and mix. And of course, try it out. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video and as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao!